This is Steve. He just started this year. Steve, what are you drinking? Kefir. What is that? It's fermented milk. It's so disgusting. Why would you drink that? Because it's loaded with... It good. doesn't matter. It's just so <laughs> gross. <laughs> who, who drinks rotten milk? It's so nasty. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? It's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Here we are, day two of our pond renovation expansion in Mountainside, New Jersey. We had a nasty storm roll through last night. Took down a bunch of trees here in North Jersey. The clouds moved in like almost instantly and just started downpouring. So we quickly got our liner into the excavation that we started for the pond expansion just to save it. Hopefully it didn't all turn to mush and we tarped all the dirt that we dug out. Bolvar and the guys are pulling the liner out and the excavation looks like it's pretty good. So we were able to save it. Hey Dan, how much water was in the pond this morning? Uh, good two feet. Two feet of water. So we had two feet of water in the pond from last night's rain and our dirt pile looks uh, pretty decent too. So we were able to salvage all that. Now we can get to work, finish our excavation, get the liner in, do our seam onto the old liner and start rocking this baby. Our game plan for part two of this vlog is get this pond finished. We want it up and running, waterfall flowing, urn in, that's gonna be flowing, and fish are going back in. So stick around, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Our excavation is done. You can see we've cut a shelf in for the first section. Now we're down to our lower level. Over behind where Dan is standing is where our fish cave is gonna go and that there's a pipe that goes in there. That's the pipe for the fish cave going right there. These guys are gonna lay another layer of fabric in the whole excavation. We'll cover all the dirt with fabric and then our liner goes in. Then we can perform our seam to the old liner and start rocking the side of the pond in. Now the fun starts. I've got to put the seam in from the old liner to the new liner. I've got a, uh, a 2x12 board that's going to give me a nice flat surface for me to do my seaming on. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to clean the old liner really well so I get a good clean surface right down to the EPDM. And then I'm going to apply a primer, a double sided seam tape, and I'm going to seam the new liner to the old liner. And then we do a cover tape over the entire seam. So it's a pretty involved process, but if we do it right, it's going to be perfect. Just to increase the level of difficulty a little bit, now it's raining, we're gonna move you inside the tent and then you can watch. There we have it, completed seam. Now our old pond is joined to our new pond. 
we can start rocking and finish this thing up. So here's what the seam looks like. That's the cover tape all the way up the sides. Now we're all good to go. We can start finishing our rock work in here. We got the stack slate urn going right here. Boulevard and Mike are finishing up this waterfall, which looks amazing. You can see we do some moss work in there and the joints. There's our biofalls back there. That's going to completely disappear when we get the rock tray in. We'll rock the backside. It'll look like water's just welling out of the top. Coming in here, you won't see any of that plastic. The rain has kicked in pretty steady now. This is one of those crossroads where you have to decide as a business owner, do we keep going or do we call it a day? Well, the problem with calling it a day is they're calling for rain the rest of the week. So we really have no choice but to work in the rain and push through and get this done because we've got other jobs that are waiting behind this one. And it wouldn't be fair to keep putting everybody off because it's a domino effect. If we push this one back, then the next one gets pushed back. Next thing you know, uh, a month and a half down the line and this person is now in August instead of July. So we've got to push through here, work through the rain. Of course it goes slower when it rains, but that's the way it goes, right? You got to let it go. about the end of day three um, made some decent progress today even with the bad weather tomorrow we're hoping for some decent weather so we can finish this thing up and get it running we'll see you in the morning we're back and what do you know it's raining again we're not catching a break this morning but that's okay we're not slowing down they're actually calling for some Sun later today so Fingers crossed for that one. Here's what we got. Pond is mostly rocked in. Looking really good. Got the fish cave over there. The urn is in. Dan and Mike are gonna be working on getting the surround done around the urn. Steve's on the far end. He's gonna tighten up that whole side over there. Bolvar and I are gonna jump on this side. We are gonna do the intake bay, the skimmer. That's our first order of business today. Then it's gonna be hooking up plumbing, hooking up lighting, getting this thing ready, and then firing it up. But we still got some work to do. getting wrecked so here we go we have got our intake well underway you see behind me right now these are the aqua blocks that we put in we put six aqua blocks in along with our pump vault I want the water to channel right through the center here and make its way into this area here where it's gonna swirl around and that's where they can remove the debris we're gonna backfill with gravel behind this rocks and then over there by the pump vault we'll backfill that with gravel load it up with aquatic plants on either side it's gonna look like it's just part of the pond seamless you won't see anything. So you can see our urn is getting built in to the side of the pond. We've got some plumbing that's fed into it and we've got a chase for lighting right there. This is gonna get some hard PVC vertical. Then we actually fabricate the top where we drill a bulkhead into it and then we do a, a PVC connection underneath and we chamfer it so that we can just slide it on without gluing it. And then there'll be a light counter sunk in the top. This will be bubbling really nicely out of here and we've built the surround around it so it accounts for the splash that this thing creates. The last few days have been extremely rainy and wet and that transfers right into the pond. This place is a mud hole. It's so dirty, it's gonna need some serious cleaning before we could start filling it. 
but the mud just gets in everything and all the gravel and all the rocks. It's just part of the job, but we'll get it clean and looking beautiful. We are so close to finishing. The guys are just doing some raking. We got to hook up some plumbing. Mike is washing the pond down getting ready to go so we can actually fill this thing up and get it going. We got one more day here. Tomorrow we'll be back, we're gonna finish it, plug it in, get those waterfalls running, get that urn running, put the fish in, and complete this paradise. Last day, final day of this build. We are just about finished. The pond was starting to fill last night. We stopped it so we could finish working on the intake. Let me show you what we got left here. Couple things left to finish. Intake, we've gotta install our pumps and the plumbing, you see we got some plumbing feeding into here. That's all gotta get hooked up, pumps to feed, the waterfall, the urn, and the wetland filter. The intake is pretty much done. The pond is pretty well situated. I've gotta plumb the urn, so inside the urn I've actually gotta do the plumbing that feeds the top of it. Lighting, that's all gonna be getting hooked up today. Finishing up some edges, cleaning up, and then that's a wrap. So we're gonna get busy here. I've actually got some help with me today. My good friend, April Frost, who usually comes down and works with us quite a bit with her husband, Sean, but Sean is fishing. Who goes fishing in the middle of the season? But I guess he lives the life of Riley. Here's April. Say hi, April. Hey. She's great. Oh, we're gonna do some aquatic planting too. That's something April's very good at, so she's gonna be on that today. And I got Steve with us, so let's get busy. finished let's go sit down talk with Scott and get his reaction so I'm here with Scott and Landon uh, new pond owners you've had a pond before but now you've got an Atlantis pond so tell me what you like best about this pond Landon yeah, and I like the waterfall so Scott you started this pond adventure yourself nine years ago with you and your dad and your brother helped you out with the pond. So tell me what you think today. We just spent a whole week in your backyard tearing things up in the rain. What do you think about the result? Uh, amazing. Words can't even describe how good this came out. I was expecting a lot and this just uh, blew my mind when it was finished. I know you've only been living with the pond for a couple days now. What's your favorite part about it? I'm always a fan of hardscape. So the big boulders, the monstrous rocks, that really that really does it. The waterfall's amazing. The intake bay, the urn, I'm, everything's, everything's amazing, top to bottom. We left here late when we finished um, on Friday, and you texted me a picture of the kids sitting by the pond, feeding the fish. How has that changed? Like, how has their interaction changed from when you had the pond before to where it is now? Kids spend a lot of time out here. It's only been a couple days like we spoke about, but the kids are out here feeding the fish they, twice a day when they shouldn't be, but they love it. The fish love them. The fish are actually eating out of their hands already. Uh, the old pond wasn't wasn't like that at all. So the old pond, you had the fence around it, and you're still talking about fencing the backyard for safety because you have small children, but um, it wasn't really accessible to the kids. No, not you know? at all. Now it's very accessible. What, Landon, what's your favorite part? Where's your favorite spot to go with the pond? This rock. Right here, this rock? That's kind of why I put this rock here. So you and your sister can come out here and sit by the pond. And soon number three when he's old. So Scott, Landon, thank you guys very much for putting your trust in us to bring you this, this cool pond. 
and uh, we had a great time doing it. You guys, hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Remember, subscribe below. Leave me a comment. Love to hear what you think about Scott's Pond and Landon's Pond here. And leave us a like, and we will see you on the next one. Thank you.